morning students today we are going to learn how to solve differential equations with the laplace transforms and inverse laplace transforms so you will get 5 marks damn sure you will get 5 marks problem on this to solve differential equation with the laplace transform so this is the last topic i I told you in first day itself you will get 27 marks from this inverse Laplace transform 3 marks questions 3 that comes from properties linear property first shifting theorem change scale property second shifting theorem and 5 marks questions 3 and uh, those questions comes from using partial fractions find inverse Laplace transform second one convolution theorem problem on convolution theorem and the third one is solving differential equations with Laplace transform these are the three five mark questions and coming to the one mark they may define inverse Laplace from or uh, write any standard formulas two or four and state linearity property state first shifting theorem state change scale property state second shifting theorem or write rational fractions in terms of partial fractions like that one more questions anyway they can give like that so these are the things we covered and this is the last topic guys uh, very careful you will get five marks and coming to the differential equations differential equations are of two types that is homogeneous and non-homogeneous <coughs> this is what i am telling homogeneous differential equation d means differential equation and non-homogeneous differential equation a differential equation is said to be homogeneous if right hand side is zero the equation a differential equation is said to be homogeneous if right side is zero and a differential equation is said to be non-homogeneous if the right hand side is function of x or constant this is homogeneous and non-homogeneous very simple if right hand side is zero then it is homogeneous and if right hand side is not equal to zero then it is non-homogeneous differential equation so first of all let us see how to solve homogeneous then let us see how to solve non-homogeneous differential equations solving differential equations by laplace transforms you will get five marks i already said you you will get five marks solving differential equations by laplace transform so what is the method you are having here take the laplace transform on both sides of given differential equation the very first step what to do you have to apply laplace transform on both the sides of given differential equation so apply laplace transform on both sides that is our first step and coming to the st second step differential equation means you may have first derivative second derivative like that so if it is first derivative then laplace transform of first derivative is are you able to see La laplace transform of first derivative is s into l of y minus y of 0 if it is of second derivative if it is second derivative they first derivative means it starts with s second derivative starts with s square s square of l of y minus s of y zero minus y dash of zero if it is third derivative then it starts with s cube s cube of l of y minus s square of y of zero minus s of y dash of zero minus y double dash of zero so first step take laplace transform on both sides then use the formula y l of y dash l of y double dash l of y triple dash okay now so this is how to solve differential equation by using laplace transform means there are two steps to follow first of all for given differential equation apply laplace transform on both sides this is our first condition and the second condition so differential equation means there may be a first second derivatives the laplace transform of first derivative and laplace transform of 
second derivative l of y dash of t l of y double dash of t just apply this then you can solve given differential equation by using laplace transforms so this is introduction of the topic so what i told you what i told you is solving differential equation with the laplace transforms you will get for 5 marks <coughs> you will get for 5 marks and there are two types of differential equations homogeneous and non homogeneous if it is homogeneous means right hand side will be zero and non homogeneous means right hand side is some constant or function for homogeneous or non homogeneous how to solve given differential equation by laplace transform is there are two steps to fa follow first one apply laplace transform on both sides of given differential equation then the second one when a you are applying laplace transform on both sides of differential equation differential equation may have first or second derivatives so what is a laplace transform of first derivative and what is a laplace transform of second derivative what is a laplace transform of third derivative laplace transform of first derivative l y dash is s of s into l l of y minus y of 0 l y double dash is s square of l of y minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 L of y triple dash is s cube of L of y minus s square into y of zero minus s into y dash of zero minus y double dash of zero. Very simple. So apply Laplace transform on both sides of given differential equation. Then use the formula of L of y dash, L of y double dash, and L of y triple dash, and so on. That gives that is a way we solve given differential equation by using laplace transform only two steps to follow apply laplace transform then use the formula of l of first derivative l of second derivative l of third derivative not it down let us go to the this is a process the method the working rule to find to solve given differential equation so not it down let us move on problems so in the previous classes also i said to you we are going to solve as many problems as in this 50 minutes 50 minutes class in online is uh, much lengthier i know but you should have a patience because we have to solve many many problems uh, as you are all at home so stay home and stay safe and solve these problems practice these problems and do homework submit homework in google classroom that's it so these are the let us go to the problems now so before problems let us recall revise repeat the thing two steps process first one is apply laplace transform on both sides of given differential equation then second one is use the formula l of y dash of t l of y double dash of t l of y triple dash of t and so on once you follow these two steps you can solve given differential equation by using standard formula of laplace and inverse laplace transforms so you have to remember inverse laplace transform formula also what is l inverse of 1 by s 1 right l inverse of 1 by s minus a e power of 80 l inverse of 1 by s plus a e power of minus 80 like that you have to remember all standard eight formulas of inverse laplace transform so let us move on to the problems that is the first problem of homogeneous homogeneous so solve the given differential equation by laplace transform method y double dash plus y is equal to zero with y of zero is equal to zero and y dash of zero is equal to two so this is a problem given so is it homogeneous or non homogeneous can you tell which one i already told you we are going to solve first homogeneous then we are going to solve non homogeneous here right hand side is zero means it is homogeneous the first step apply laplace transform on both sides of given differential equation that is l of y double dash plus l of y is equal to l of 0 so l of y double dash l of y double dash 
I added told you we are going to use second step in the for after first step let us use the second step of working rule so what is that l of y double dash is s square into l of y minus s of y of 0 minus y dash of 0 as it is plus l of y is equal to l of 0 is 0 now substitute y of 0 is equal to 0 and y dash of 0 is equal to 2 what will get s square l of y minus s into 0 that is 0 minus 2 plus l of y is equal to 0 take l of y common you will get s square plus 1 here s square plus l of uh, l of y minus to this side means you will get 2 that is l of y is equal to 2 by s square plus 1 now coming to l to this side take l to this side then it becomes l inverse that is y is equal to l inverse of 2 by s square plus 1 2 constant outside by linear property 2 into L inverse of 1 by S square plus 1. So what is the formula? The standard formula L inverse of 1 by S square plus S square is sin 1 by A sin A T. Now L inverse of 1 by S square plus 1 square is sin T. Therefore answer is Y is equal to sin T. This is the way we solve given differential equation by using Laplace transform only two steps first one apply Laplace transform apply Laplace transform on both sides of given differential equation then use of the formula then simplify and sub and apply standard formulas then you will get answer very simple you will get five marks and this is the previous question for five marks note it down so that we can move on second problem solve y double dash minus 4y dash plus 5y is equal to 0 with y of 0 and y dash of 0 both are equal to 2 these are the questions previously came for 5 marks. Be careful. So solving differential equation. What are the two steps? First of all, apply Laplace transform on both sides of given differential equation. Then use the formula of L of Y dash, L of Y double dash, L of Y triple dash. Now the first step, L of, we are applying Laplace transform on both sides of given differential equation. What is that you will get is L of y double dash minus L of y dash plus 5 into L of y. The constants outside L of y double dash minus L of y dash plus 5 into L of y is equal to L of 0. L of y double dash formula is square of L of y minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 minus 4 into l of y dash formula again here s into l of y minus y of 0 plus so it should be the bracket here minus 4 into s into l of y minus y of 0 plus 5 into l of y is equal to 0 take l of y common if you take l of y common you will get s square minus 4s plus 5 other terms put y of 0 is equal to 2 and y dash of 0 is equal to 2 you will get minus s minus 2 plus 4 is equal to 0 that is l of y is equal to s minus 2 by s square minus 4s plus 5 a minus b all square formula s minus 2 by s square minus 4s 5 can be written as 4 plus 1 so s square minus 4s plus 4 is s minus 2 all square plus 1 now y is equal to l inverse of s minus 2 by s minus 2 all square plus 1 at place of s minus 2 you can write s by using first shifting theorem so what is answer e power of 2t into l inverse of s by s square plus 1 here what is the formula s by s square plus 1 it is of the form s by s square plus 
a square l inverse of s by s square plus s square is cos 80 here l inverse of s by s square plus 1 is cos t therefore the answer is y is equal to e power of 2t into cos t you will you will get for 5 marks previous question are you getting why what is given y double dash minus 4y dash plus 5y is equal to 0 is our question first of all apply laplace transform l of y double dash minus 4 into l of y dash plus 5 into l of y is equal to l of 0 now use the formulas l of y double dash and l of y dash then take l of y common and l of y to this side all other term to that side then l to this side L to RHS that becomes L inverse y is equal to L inverse of S minus 2 by S minus 2 whole square plus 1. Apply first shifting theorem then you will get answer y is equal to e power of 2t into cos t. Note it down so that we can move on to next problem. So we are we are solving homogeneous. Homogeneous means right hand side is zero and L of zero becomes zero. So right hand side always becomes zero. Now the third problem solve y double dash plus 4y dash plus solve y double dash plus 4y dash plus 3y is equal to 0 with given y of 0 is equal to 3 and y dash of 0 is equal to 1 right hand side 0 means yes 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 it is homogeneous homogeneous differential equation this is the last problem of homogeneous differential equation then let us go to the non-homogeneous also so so what to do apply two steps first one apply laplace transform on both sides of given differential equation then use the formula l of y double dash l of y dash l of y double dash and so on so first of all, I am applying Laplace transform on both sides. What will get? L of y double dash plus 4 into L of y dash plus 3 into L of y is equal to L of 0. L of 0 is always 0. So in homogeneous, I already told now, the right hand side is always 0. Now L of y double dash plus 4 into L of y dash plus 3 into L of y now use the formula of L of y double dash L of y double dash and L of y dash L of y double dash is S square into L of y minus S into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 next use L of y L of y dash S into L of y minus y of 0 plus 3 into L of y now substitute the values y of 0 is equal to 3 and y of 0 y dash of 0 is equal to 1 <coughs> take L of y common if you take L of y common what will get S, S square plus 4s plus 3 of L of y minus y of 0 is 3 therefore minus 3 into s y dash of 0 is 1 means minus 1 minus 12 is equal to 0 so if you take l of y to this side then what is answer 3s plus 13 by s square plus 4s plus 3 y is equal to l inverse of 3s plus 13 by s square plus 4s plus 3. <coughs> now we write this as a plus b all square that is s square plus 4s plus 4. But we are having only 3. What to do? 3 can be written as 4 minus 1. So s square plus 4s plus 4 minus 1. So s square plus 4s plus 4 is s plus 2 all square and minus 1. But the denominator is of s plus 2. You have to write numerator as a in terms of s plus 2 that's why i'm writing 3s 3 into s plus 2 3 into 2 is 3 into 2 is 6 you are having 13 so remaining is 7 right as 7 
are getting denominator s plus 2 means we are trying to write the numerator also in s plus 2 then now apply first shifting theorem e power of minus 2t into l inverse of 3s plus 7 by s square minus 1 at place of s plus 2 you can write s multiplied with e power of minus 2t so e power of minus 2t into 3 constant outside l inverse of s by s square minus 1 square means cos ht plus 7 constant outside 1 by s square minus 1 square means sin ht so what is the answer answer is y is equal to l inverse of y is equal to e power of minus 2t into 3 cos ht plus 7 h 7 sin ht is our answer I will repeat once again you see given <coughs> we have to solve y double dash plus 4y dash plus 3y is equal to 0 y of given with y of 0 equal to 3 and y dash of 0 is equal to 1 apply Laplace transform on both sides of given differential equation l of y double dash plus 4 into l of y dash plus 3 into l of y is equal to l of 0 now use the formula L of y double dash and L of y dash then take L of y common L of y to one side all other terms to other side then y L, L to this side means it becomes L inverse now in denominator is in terms of s plus 2 then write numerator also in terms of s plus 2 at place of s plus 2 you can write s multiplied by e power of minus 2t by first shifting theorem now use standard formulas of cos ht and sin ht that gives answer y is equal to e power of minus 2t into 3 cos ht plus 7 is 7 sin ht Okay, okay, here I didn't written it uh, clearly, but uh, you can understood nothing is there here. S square plus 4s plus 3 means you can write it as S square plus 4s plus 3. 3 can be written as plus 4 minus 1. So, S square plus 4s plus 4 means S plus 2 whole square and minus 1 is as it is. We are converting into quadratic. <coughs> So you got s plus 2 whole square denominator s plus 2 means numerator also you have to write s plus 2 s plus 2 means you are having already 3 that's why I written 3 into s plus 2 3 into 2 is a 6 so already from 13 you are used 6 so remaining is 7 as it is right 7 so 3 into s plus 2 plus 7 by s plus 2 whole square minus 1 now numerator and denominator oh. having s plus 2 that's why multiply with e power of minus 2t and at place of s plus 2 substitute s that gives that is a first shifting theorem now constants outside by linear property 3 outside l inverse of s square s square minus 1 square plus 7 outside l inverse of 1 by s square minus 1 square therefore it is standard comes under standard formulas l inverse of what is l inverse of s by s square minus s square cos h t here cos cos h t and what is a l inverse of 1 by s square minus 1 square 1 by a sin h t here a equal to 1 therefore it is sin h t sin ht not in doubt so that we can move to the next problems this completes our homogeneous homogeneous means the right hand side of given differential equation must be zero once it is zero then it is called homogeneous in homogeneous the first step apply laplace transform means right hand side becomes l of zero that is always zero but in non-homogeneous it won't be zero it may be a constant or it may be a function so right hand side never becomes a zero it is some value you will get that is you have to solve let us see next next let us go for nano solving non-homogeneous differential equation so until then take this problem let us move on to homogeneous to non-homogeneous
நானும் உண்டு நியூஸ் டிஃப்ரென்ஷியல் இக்குவேஷன்ஸ் நானும் சின்னஸ் டிஃப்ரென்ஷியல் இக்குவேஷன்ஸ் at the starting of the class i already told you what is nanomogenes nanomogenes means right hand side is not equal to zero means it may be a constant or it may be any function so now let us see how to solve nanomogenes differential equation by using laplace transform so homogeneous means right hand side zero and non homogeneous is right hand side not equal to zero that's it not zero until now we see how to solve homogeneous differential equations now let us go for non homogeneous differential equations so let us move what are the two steps how to remember two steps what are the two steps first one apply laplace transform on both sides of given differential equation and the second one use formula l of y dash l of y double dash l of y triple dash and so on only two steps if you to follow these two steps that gives answer meanwhile you have to remember uh, remember standard formula of laplace transform and you know uh, standard formula of inverse laplace transform also 8 plus 8 only 16 formulas repeatedly i told you in every class that you have to buy add this formulas then only you can solve problems you can do the problems you can move on the problems so now let us go to non homogeneous differential equations oh non homogeneous problems we are going to do as many problems as possible how much time left for us the time left is only 25 minutes sorry 20 minutes 20 minutes more yes okay so let us uh, try a level best to do more problems here because i had told you many times you didn't have the proper material at home so stay at home only we are giving number of problems practice these problems then do homework problems that's it yes solving non homogeneous differential equations by laplace transforms solving non homogeneous differential equations <coughs> by la- using laplace transforms so what is given question the question is y double dash plus y is equal to t y double dash plus y is equal to t if y of 0 is equal to 1 y dash of 0 is equal to minus 2 so you have to solve this non homogeneous what is given y double dash plus y is equal to t so right hand side you can see it is t not 0 with y of 0 is equal to 1 and y dash of 0 is equal to minus 2 so first step see right hand side it is function t therefore it is non homogeneous if right hand side is zero then it is homogeneous now it is not zero therefore it is non homogeneous what to do first of all apply laplace transform on both sides of given differential equation that is l of y double dash plus l of y is equal to l of t in homogeneous it always l of 0 that is 0 but here l of t now you see apply the formula what is the formula l of y double dash is s square into l of y minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 plus l of y as it is now what is l of t l of t power of n is 1 by s power of n plus 1 here n is equal to 1 means 1 by s square that is so we are getting the right hand side also s is l of y common s square plus 1 into l of y is equal to 1 by s square plus s minus 2 this s square plus 1 comes to this side means denominator it divides l of y is equal to 
1 by s square into s square plus 1 plus s into s square plus 1 minus 2 into s square plus 1. L to this it, it becomes L inverse that is y is equal to L inverse of 1 by s square into s square plus 1 plus L inverse of s by s square plus 1 minus 2 constant outside L inverse of 1 by s square plus 1. Are you getting it? It is a non-homogeneous right hand side t L of t is 1 by s square everything is very similar now note it down so that we can go to the next slide <coughs> so y is equal to l inverse of 1 by s square into s square plus 1 plus l inverse of s by s square plus 1 minus 2 into l inverse of 1 by s square plus 1 now the continuation of the problem. We have the formula. Yes. What is the formula? Do you remember? We covered in partial fractions. 1 by s square plus s square into s square plus b square is equal to 1 by b square minus a square into 1 by s square plus a square minus 1 by s square plus b square where b greater than a. Where b greater than a. Yes. It is not real but it is b greater than a. So, what is b square here? 1 square, 1. What is a square? 0 square, 1 minus 0, it is 1. Therefore, this becomes L inverse of 1 by s square minus 1 by s square plus 1 plus L inverse of s by s square plus 1 minus 2 into L inverse of 1 by s square plus 1. Now, use of formulas. L inverse of 1 by s square is t l inverse of 1 by s square plus 1 is sin t and l inverse of s by s square plus 1 is cos t l inverse of 1 by s square plus 1 again sin t the here you are having sin t term you are also sin t term minus sin t minus 2 sin t minus 3 sin t so what is answer y is equal to t minus 3 sin t plus cos t y is equal to t minus 3 sin t plus cos t that's it use of standard formulas and this this is we used in a Laplace transform also 1 by s square plus a square into s square plus b square is equal to 1 by b square minus a square into 1 by s square plus a square minus 1 by s square plus b square where b is greater than a Note down so that we can move on to the next problem. This is the first problem on non-homogeneous differential equations. Next problem on non homogeneous. What is given? Y double dash plus y is equal to sin 3t with y of 0, y dash of 0, both are zeros. So, what is right hand side? Sin 3t, it is non homogeneous. That's what I am telling you. If it is non homogeneous, right hand side is not 0, means it is non homogeneous. This is a given differential equation y double dash plus y is equal to sin 3t. First of all, apply apply first step that is Laplace transform L of y double dash plus L of y is equal to L of sin 3t. Now use the formula L of y double dash is s square into L of y minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 plus L of y is equal to L of sin a t. L of sin a t is a by s square plus 3 square. Here L of sin 3 t means 3 by s square plus 3 square. Take L of y common s square plus 1 of L of y is equal to 3 by s square plus 3 square. Now s square plus 1 come to this side means what is answer L of y is equal to 3 by s square plus 1 into s square plus 3 square. 
what to do here l to this this side means l inverse you are having b square 3 square and a square 1 square so b square is b is greater than a you can apply the previous formula what is that let us see in the next slide what you are using oh no formula given no? Yes. What is the formula you have to use? You have to use this formula. Are you getting? This is the formula. In first problem itself we noted down. That's why. So 1 by s square plus s square into s square plus b square where b greater than a is equal to 1 by b square minus a square into 1 by s square plus a square minus 1 by s square plus b square. Same problem you are you same formula you are using here also in next theorem. Next problem. So what you got? You got L of y. Last step you see L of y is equal to 3 into s square plus 1 into s square plus 3 square. So next step y is equal to 3 outside L inverse of 1 by s square plus 1 into s square plus 3 square. Now Apply the formula 3 into L inverse of 1 by B square minus A square, 3 square minus 1 square into 1 by S square plus 1 minus 1 by S square plus 3 square. 3 square means 9 minus 1 means 8, 3 minus 8, 9 minus 1, 8 therefore 3 by 8 constant L inverse of 1 by S square plus 1 minus 1 by S square plus 3 square. That is y is equal to 3 by 8 into what is the standard formula L inverse of 1 by s square plus s square is 1 by a sin a t. Here L inverse of 1 by s square plus 1 is sin t. Same formula 1 by s square plus 3 square 1 by a sin a t that is 1 by 3 sin 3 t multiply with 3 by 8. The answer is y is equal to 3 by 8 sin t minus 1 by 8 sin 3 t. Note it down. I will put first slide. Note it down so that you can move to the next problem. Make it fast. Another 10 minutes to go. Make it fast. Note it down. I will put next slide also. Use a formula 1 by s square plus a square into s square plus b square is 1 by b square minus a square into 1 by s square plus a square minus s 1 by s square plus b square. Another 10 minutes to go. Let us move on. Yes. Solve d square plus 1 of y is equal to 6 cos 2t. y of 0 is equal to 3. y dash of 0 is equal to 1. d square of y means y double dash of y. y da second derivative of y means y double dash. 1 into y means y. So y double dash plus y is equal to 6 into cos 2t. This is the problem. Non homogeneous problem. Apply apply Laplace transform on both sides L of y double dash plus L of y is equal to 6 into L of cos 2t. L of y double dash formula what is that s square into L of y minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 plus L of y is equal to 6 into L of cos 2t. L of cos a t s by s square plus s square. So L of cos 2t 6 into s by s square plus 4. Now take L of y common and other terms to this side you will get uh, s square plus l of y s square plus 1 into l of y is equal to 6s by s square plus 4 plus 3s plus 1 again l of y is equal to 6s by s square plus 1 into s square plus 4 plus 3s by s square plus 1 plus 1 by s square plus 1 very similar to the previous question no change here apply the same 
So L of y is equal to what you got 6s by s square plus 1 into s square plus 4 plus 3s by s square plus 1 plus 1 by s square plus 1 L to this side it becomes L inverse take constants outside y is equal to 6 outside L inverse of s by s square plus 1 into s square plus 4 plus 3 into L inverse of s by s square plus 1 plus L inverse of 1 by s square plus 1. Now you have to use the formula again. This is here b square means 4 and a square means 1. 1 by b square minus a square into L inverse of s by s square plus 1. In between you have to write minus s by s square plus 1. 1 by 4 minus 1 means 3. 6 by 3 means 2. 2 into L inverse of s by s square plus 1 square. What is the standard formula there? L inverse of s by s square plus 1 square. s square plus a square. That is cos a t. Here cos t. s by s square plus 2 square. Cos 2 t. Here L inverse of s by s square plus 1 cos t. L inverse of 1 by s square plus 1 is sin t. Now 2 cos t minus 2 cos 2 t plus 3 cos t plus sin t. 3 cos t, 2 cos t becomes 5 cos t minus 2 cos 2 t plus sin t. That is answer very very nicely explained. And these are. So this is the first slide. I take it up so that we can move on. So what we covered. What we covered is we covered three problems on homogeneous and three more problems on non-homogeneous. You can take down this so that we can finish the class another two three minutes to go. That's why you cannot cover on one more problem. So let us end here. We covered three problems on homogeneous and three more on non-homogeneous. All these six problems are previous questions for five marks. Homogeneous means right hand side is zero and non-homogeneous is right hand side is not equal to zero. Means right hand side may be any constant or some function. So shall we go to one more problem? Can we cover? See the time? Yes, guys. It is already finishing. Let us have only 3-4 minutes to go. So straightly let, let me give you homework now. Let me give you homework. So I already I told you I will going to cover more problems and give homework only less problems. So so let us go to the homework yes today's homework so before giving the homework what we covered today what we covered solving differential equations by with uh, laplace transforms solving differential equations with laplace transform you will get absolutely five marks differential equations are of two types homogeneous and non-homogeneous homogeneous means right side is zero non-homogeneous is right side is not equal to zero so there are there is two step process to follow to solve either homogeneous or non-homogeneous differential equation what is the first step can you recall what is the first step first step is apply laplace transform on both sides of given differential equation and what about, what about the second step Second step in differential equation, for differential equation you are applying Laplace transform means in differential equation there may be first derivative or second derivative or third derivative. So we have a formula for Laplace transform of first derivative, Laplace transform of second derivative, Laplace transform of third derivative etc. Apply this, use these formulas L of y dash, L of y double dash, L of y triple dash and so on. Simplify it, take L to this side, you will get L inverse, apply standard formula of inverse Laplace transform, then you will get answer. We have seen 6 examples, 6 problems with the solution of homogeneous 3 and non-homogeneous 3 very clearly explained to you. So students, practice those 6 problems again and again. If you won't, won't understand, see the notes, again practice until you get until you get the concept 
again read the concept read what is how we to solve what are those two two steps to follow and read standard formula of laplace transform read standard formula of inverse laplace transform then go and practice the problem again and again all six problems you practice so that you can do any problem under this topic so after practicing these six problems then come to the homework i will give only little bit homework this is homework for you today's homework did i return the homework no no i think Let's go solving differential equations. Uh, okay, okay. No homework. I will give you homework now. You don't worry. So, what is the homework? Is take down first one. y double dash plus y is equal to zero homogeneous with y of zero and y dash of zero is equal to one and the second problem is same. Y double dash plus y is equal to cos t with y of zero and y dash of zero is equal to zero. These are the two problems I am giving you. Unable to make a slide. I forgot to make a slide. Just I written here. So homework. What is the first problem? I read for you. If you are unable to clearly see that, so I will read for you. What is the first problem? Y double dash plus y of zero with y of zero is equal to y dash of zero is equal to one. This is homogeneous. Right hand side zero means it is homogeneous. And the second problem. He is of non-homogeneous y double dash plus y is equal to cos t with y of zero and y dash of zero is equal to zero. So these are two homework problems, homogeneous and non-homogeneous. So if you are having any queries, any questions, mail me at Naresh dot Debbie at the rate gmail dot com, or you can put the post in Google Classroom. Also, we have a WhatsApp group there. Also, you can submit. So submit your homework in Google Classroom so that I can respond to you. I can verify your uh, homework. So thank you. This completes our inverse Laplace transform. All topics are covered. You will get twenty seven marks. Practice. practice and practice again practice practice makes you perfect thank you guys see you tomorrow see you